Okay, so now that we've implemented video and back-end image manipulation into the Dash Media Player, I think the logical next step is just to dive right in and get audio support working in the Dash Media Player. For those of you who would like to just see an overview or see an example of what we're going to be doing in this tutorial, you can just simply go to the TMT Digital website at tmtdigital.com forward slash node forward slash 172. Once you go to this page, you'll be greeted with a very slick audio skin that was designed by Alathea. And basically, this skin is built specifically for the audio support. Of course, if you scroll down, you will also see what audio looks like in the default skin, which is also still really cool. But we're, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is implementing this audio skin. The very first thing that we're going to need to do is actually download the Audio Pro skin, which you can do by just going to TMT Digital website and just click on the skins section. This will bring us to a list of all different kinds of skins that you can download for free and use for free on your websites that basically implement a new look and feel for the Dash Media Player. The one that we're going to be interested in is the Audio Pro. I would also like to mention that you just need to keep stay tuned because we're also working on a number of different skins that are going to add a lot of value to this uh, media player. But the one that we're going to be interested in for this tutorial is Audio Pro. So let's just click on the Audio Pro skin. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that we download. Let me make sure I pause that. We're just going to download it by clicking on the attachment here that says audiopro.zip. So now that I've had that downloaded, the next step is to actually install the skin into the player. This is surprisingly simple and it doesn't really require a lot. All you have to do is just open up your Finder window or your Windows Explorer and then find the player folder on the Drupal root. So here we are on the Drupal root. Here's the player folder and here's the Dash Media Player. But inside here you're going to see a skins folder. If you click on that, you're going to see the default skin right now, which if you click on that it has the skin.swift. Well, in order to install a skin, all you have to do is just drag and drop this Audio Pro into the skins folder. And yes, it really is that simple. Now we are going to be able to use the Audio Pro skin whenever we're adding image or adding audio to our website. So let's go ahead and get started on adding audio. Now, for those of you who have actually done a little bit of exploring on audio, you most likely have come across the audio module. Now, this is a really cool module that you can use uh, that basically automates a lot of stuff for you, such as it uses the Get ID3 library to auto-populate a lot of the fields. However, if you scroll down and try to download it, you'll notice that it's currently in an unstable uh, release. Typically, I don't recommend people using unstable um, until that it gets into a stable release. But it, the good news here is that we're going to be able to replicate pretty much everything that the audio module does just manually on the back end. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Also keep in mind, I did, I did want to mention this, that once this module does become in a stable release, that the Dash Media Player already has a plugin available that integrates the audio module into the Dash Media Player. So that's the good news here. So just keep in mind that this, this is going to one day be, be stable and you can use it. So let's go back to the Dash Media Player and let's just click on Administer. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an audio node type that's going to allow people to create and add audio to the website. We're going to click on Administer, and then we're going to click on Content Types. Now, to add an audio type, we're just going to click on Add Content Type. And then for the human readable name, we're just going to say Audio. For the type, we're just going to say Audio. And then a description, we're just going to say Add a new audio track to this site. And then we're just going to go down to the very bottom here, and we're going to hit Save. Okay, so now that we have our new audio track, the next step is we need to start adding fields to the audio track. Now there's several fields that we need to add to be able to get all the audio support and capabilities that the normal audio module presents. The first one is obviously going to be the file field that's going to allow us to upload the MP3 file. The second one is going to be for the album art, which we're going to use the image field to do that. And then, of course, the last, the last three are just going to be just some, some text fields that are going to allow us to provide the artist, the album, and the song of that audio track. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking on Manage Fields next to the audio track. The first field that we're going to add is the audio upload. 
which is just going to be a file field. So we're just going to say audio upload. And we're just going to call it audio underscore upload. And since we've already downloaded the file field, we're just going to select file. And then we're just going to make sure that it still says file upload. And then we're going to hit save. We don't really need to provide any help text, but what we do need to do is we need to do, uh, provide the allowed file extensions, which for us is just going to be MP3. So I can zoom in on this so you can see what I'm doing. And then of course we want to make sure that it's required. We don't want anybody creating an audio node without the actual MP3 audio track. And then we're going to hit save field settings. So now let's just drag this up to the top here a little bit. And then let's just make sure we hit save down here at the bottom. The next one we're going to do is the actual album art, which is going to be the, the album cover of the, the audio track. We're going to use the, the image field to do this. So let's just say um, audio image is what we're going to call it. And we're just going to call the field audio underscore image. This is still going to be a file type. But here's another important thing is we need to make sure it's an image field by selecting this, this right here and then clicking on image. And then we're just going to hit save. Okay, so now you can see that we're back to this Dutch Media Player image cache settings. For those of you who did not watch the video previously, we will get back to this because what I'd like to do is create some different image cache settings just for the audio track. So we're actually going to get back to this in a second. So we can just scroll down to the bottom here. The cool thing about the image field module is it automatically provides most of these for you. And we're just going to click Save Field Settings. And we're going to drag that up here. And then we're going to hit Save. The next field that we're going to add is something that we can provide the artist. So we're just going to call that Artist and that's just going to be called field artist. Now this is actually pretty important on what you call this. The reason is is because the Audio Pro it it already it automatically um, looks for certain fields within the the audio track and in order to populate the audio in order to populate this artist you'll see it says artist and then it says Jack Johnson. Well in order to populate this you have to provide the field artist field. So let's just make that a text field, and then we're just going to make that a text field. So that's what it should look like. Again, this needs to say field artist, and then we're just going to say save. And then we're just going to scroll down to the bottom and hit save field settings. Everything else is fine by default. And we're just going to drag that up here and hit save. 